down in first. Thou shalt not talketh to the other gender right. or you will be pregnant. <laughs> bad breath, bad teeth, bad feet, bad hygiene. Oh my gosh, Angela. <laughs> she put her gum in this. Do you believe in love after love after love after love? I can feel I the thing inside me says, I really know that you're strong enough now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, guess what? We are excited that February is the month of love, and we really, I think, are excited about talking to you about some questions about love. How do y'all feel about this? This is exciting. <laughs> this is like rapid fire questions mm -hmm. um, about love, about okay. life, about relationships, about our opinions, about our on opinions all the above all matters, the about yeah. our experiences. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, maybe go ahead and grab your favorite cup with your favorite <laughs> drink and your and favorite logo. <laughs> <laughs> and we will answer some questions with and for you. Yeah. And we also have some questions from people on the social meds, mm -hmm. on social media. And so we'll get to those at the end. Okay. Also, can I just say, I think we should have some ground rules before okay. we get started. Okay. Number one, you may not use any of this content against us. <laughs> Number two, we want total honesty, right? You would expect nothing less from us. Correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Just keep drinking, Kathy. Mm -hmm. And number three, at some point, you have to share your own. So whether that's leaving us a comment below or emailing us or whatever it is that you do to interact with us, we want to hear from you as well. Okay. Questions are random and comprised of things that I'm sure you're dying to know. Why? Well, no, we're not going to do that one first. That's, that's <laughs> too deep, too fast. That was a little aggressive. No, this is fun. Describe your first boyfriend in five words. And I want to add to this also what... What age are we talking about? Okay, kindergarten. Okay. So I'm gonna go with young. <laughs> cute. Um, recess. Aren't all boyfriends cute? Well, he's especially cute. Young, cute, recess hyphen friendly. He, we were friendly on the playground. Recess friendly. Yeah, recess okay. friendly. Mm -hmm. okay. Friend. It's also a buddy. Friend. Okay. High school hero. We circled back in high school and, and met each other again in high school. I was actually so proud of my answer because I was thinking we had to talk <laughs> about our first boyfriend in five words. And so... Oh, like a sentence comprised yes. of five words. Yes. So like my, a haiku. my boyfriend was like really a, cute. No, <laughs> he like was shorter than me. <laughs> no, those are my five words. Okay, I my love that though. My first boyfriend was in fifth grade. Um, like true boyfriend. Like you can't talk to anyone else. You know, like I, I always saw it from a pretty young age that like other boys were cute but we we had an agreement you know like we pass each other notes and you can't pass anyone else a note it was like okay. my first exclusive relationship was in fifth grade he was so silly like I remember him like Emily what are your five words that... what are your, Emily what are the five words <laughs> we're not so... having a story we remember the question was describe in five words you're so <laughs> classic Emily five words <laughs> Becomes one okay. sentence, becomes 20,000 words. Five words, him. <laughs> he was silly. My memory of him is snot rocket. Like, he okay. he was the one that taught me, like, what an actual, yeah. like, Emily, Emily. <laughs> Just five words. No, she has to. No, no, she has silly and snot rocket. Boyfriend was eighth grade, and I would describe him in five words. Stiff. I do need to clarify this because he he was kind of always upright and frozen. Like every movement he made was not fluid. So stiff. I would say spiky hair because it was back in the eighties. Spiky hair is that hyphenated? Is that are we on three? Is it two? <laughs> there are two words left. Two. She's not rocket. So I'm taking two. Stiff, spiky hair. Sweaty hands. I, I don't know how to say we were abstinent from kissing. There were there was no kissing. So pure. Well, we abstained. Oh it was this God. big deal for us. We were, this is how rumors get started, right? Is that one of my words is abstinent. I said eighth grade, and now everybody's like unfollowing me. And right. We made a big deal about when we were going to kiss for the first time. And side note, it was never. 
Um, oh, that's but sweet. We, we wrote notes back and forth and we would write about it like we were talking about having sex for the first time. I literally was writing like, if you loved me, you would wait, talking about kissing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very aggressive stance <laughs> for an eighth grader. Okay, so your five oh, words okay. were stiff, spiky hair, uh -huh. abstinent, and then we got one more word. You said uh, sweaty, sweaty hands. hands. Sweaty hands. Okay, well, that was. Okay, sweaty yeah. hands. The next question is, what's the most embarrassing thing you've done to get a boy's attention? Mm. Existed. <laughs> <laughs> Being alive. <laughs> Everything I do I feel like is embarrassing. To get his attention though, the first time we sat at the movies together, I couldn't think of anything like to say first. Mm -hmm. First, I'm wearing shorts and I leaned over and I just said, hey, um, I shaved my legs before I came. <laughs> okay, <laughs> do you wanna feel how soft they are? <laughs> And so he like very cautiously, timidly like, was like, okay. And he's like, well, this is a little spiky down there. And I said, just kidding. I had spiky, spiky hair on my leg. It was like, gotcha. Here he is thinking he's rounding first. He's like, yeah, I'm going to touch that shin. Oh, man legs. Cactus land. <laughs> <Yeah>. Pine needles. <laughs> How important is chemistry? Just went, <laughs> chemistry. How important no, is chemistry? No, but you know, you hear a lot about don't judge a book by its cover, uh -huh. marry for love, not lust. You know, even college girls that are struggling with like, do I like him, like mm -hmm. him? And I think if you're having to ask, the answer's probably no. We're probably all in agreement that chemistry is an important component of, yeah, like working well with someone, making decisions yeah, with other people. True. You mm -hmm. kind of have to have that natural, things work, things click, mm -hmm. things jive. Yeah, chemistry is what allows a relationship to feel Easy. Natural and easy. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And now yeah. may be a really great time to point out that Emily and her husband Tommy have been married for how many years? Uh, October will be 10 years. We're in our 10 years. Year. But if you add dating, y'all have been together for 18 years. 18 years. Because you were 8th wow. grade? 14. 8th mm -hmm. grade. And he was in 9th grade. Mm -hmm. And ever since then. I think chemistry is primal. I think it, I think it is what from the from the beginning of time drew certain people to one another. Whether that's pheromones, mm -hmm. like being attracted to someone through how they smell or what you feel. I, I, I literally think that it is built into <laughs> our DNA. Okay, Where's I'll it? do one more for my pile. For my pile. Special. Okay, who is your celebrity crush? Mine has kind of always been Hugh Jackman. Really? What? Yeah. I did not know yeah. this about you. I like his work. <laughs> no. I like his work. I admire a man that can kind of like go across the spectrum. It's not like, oh, this type of man. And I think Hugh Jackman has proven that from Wolverine to The Greatest Showman to like, That's he true. can be like, he's diverse. That burly with claws, or he yeah. can like dance and sing and like carry a tune. Yeah. And um, at first, I thought you said Hugh Grant. <laughs> So I was oh, like, yeah, wow. Yeah. That's an, after watching Ryan Gosling in... Oh, sure. Which movie was it? Um, what about... Not The Notebook. Love, uh, love, not Love, actually, but... Uh, Steve stupid, Carell. Stupid, 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 crazy, crazy, love. crazy stupid, love. stupid Love. After watching Ryan Gosling in Crazy Stupid Love, I fell crazy stupid in love with him. Yeah. So <laughs> he's very easy on the eyeballs. Rob Stark from Game of Thrones. Oh. I think it's Richard Madden. But I heard he's very short. No, no, you're thinking of Kit Harrington. Okay. You're thinking of Jon Snow. Okay. I know who none of these people are. Seen anything uh, else? Fantastic jawline, <laughs> and I really appreciate that. Can guys and girls be friends? Absolutely. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> Says the Enneagram Seven. What's what? what uh, reason for hesitation? Okay, two reasons. One is because that is what we're telling our girls, so that when guys text them or like want to talk to them, we always say. They're, at this age, guy is not interested in being your friend. Do you I really don't agree that? with that. Sorry, I'm not a parent, but like I, they, um, sure, our most eighth grade boy is like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I think some are sweet and are like, hey, I just want to know you, know if you yeah. want to play Fortnite. Right. You know? Possible. I didn't say we were right about it. I just said this is what we used to scare our children. Sure. <laughs> I sure hope so because I'm friends with a lot of guys 
specifically that are married. <laughs> so. You really, you really are friends with a lot of guys, and you always have been. From what always I've heard. have been. Yeah. So I don't know how else this will come out, other than I think that some guys understand girls better, and some girls yes, understand gu- guys boys mm, better. Guys better. Yes. Because I point. do think that I, I have always been comfortable around guys and been able to like keep up with what they talk about or kind of share the same humor or what whatever to where I don't feel like there's such a, a long distance space between me and them. Yeah. To where like I can yeah. kind of be one of the guys yeah. in a sense. I think yeah. too like how I grew up, I didn't grow up in an extremely religious home. So there wasn't this, mm-hmm. there, was, there was a connection with God, but there wasn't this like, Thou shalt not talketh to the other gender, right. or you will be pregnant. <laughs> so the default for me was, you're my friend. Yeah. You're not a threat. Yeah. You're not weird. You're yeah. not making me, you're my friend. And so when I went into it thinking that, it's like a good assumption to make. Mm-hmm. Versus yeah. like, you want to touch my kneecap. <laughs> What's one thing about love that scares you? All of it. <laughs> I think, I'll be honest. Yeah. Is loss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's to me, that's the only risk of love. Mm-hmm. Okay, one more and then I'm done. Um, what's your biggest turn off? Friends or guys? <laughs> I can get turned off in both categories. What? <laughs> can you get turned on? <laughs> I mean, turned on by a friend, like, no. we can hang out more. Bad breath, bad teeth, bad feet, bad hygiene. Agreed. <laughs> um, I, I think a turnoff for me is someone who talks about themselves mm-hmm. the whole time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or like everything comes back to them. I mean, I know some women that are like really preferential about the way their men's bodies look. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, if that's a two-way street, then I'm screwed. <laughs> You've got great legs, remember? Yeah, we're going to get old and fluffy. Also, I think a turnoff is someone who's very close-minded. Mm-hmm. Somebody who oh my gosh. is not open-minded. Yeah. Yes. Do you believe in love at first sight? Oh, I had a lot of experience dating a lot of boys. Um, I definitely... <laughs> and I loved all of them at first sight. <laughs> Every single one of them. I do believe that there is someone for everyone. Yes or no? I have to believe it. And I've actually seen it. I've seen very random, strange groupings of couples who found each other after tragic circumstances or lifelong searches or in the most unusual of ways. I, I don't think that God designed us to be relationshipless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it doesn't always necessarily mean marriage per se, but I do think that we were designed to be in relationship with people. Yes. Um, and I do... Ditto. Yeah, and I do think that marriage is how humanity continues. Well, there's so, that. Yeah, yeah, from a pure, purely biological sense. Life after love. Do you believe in life? Do you in believe in life? life after love, after love, after love? I can and feel I the even pain inside, inside me says, I really don't think you're strong enough now. Do you we believe? Sing along, but it's not in my range. Wow. I don't think it was in mine. It's either. just like the guttural part of your throat. It's just like. <laughs> There's kind of two ways to look at the question. Life after love, meaning like love is is no longer there. So now just life continues without love. But do you believe in like love after love? Which I think we've already answered. I have to people. believe. I literally have to believe like that every like difficult season on the other side is going to be something like, good mm-hmm. or you know like that it's it serves its purpose some way in your life otherwise yeah. it's a sad existence yeah it's not for me it's not even do i believe in life after love it's yes yeah there is life after love and how each person interfaces with that or chooses to accept that is probably a very personal experience and looks different on a lot of people oh my gosh angela <laughs> She put her gum in this one. She, she Can like. Have you read it? 
I was we drinking. didn't even read it, and she just like disposed Screw of that it. question. I was drinking wine. I hate sparkling. this question. No, I was drinking sparkling wine. Um, girls, choose between the two: AC Slater or Zach Morris. Easy. I know you're where going for Slater. Zach. You're Zach. AC Slater. Yes. Do you Tommy? know Tommy? Yes. Oh I like gosh. a dark. I was about to say yeah. I'm AC Slater too. Yeah. Dark hair, dark skin. Yeah. What are I, you, Zach Morris? I didn't really. Okay. Oh, Mine's no. mom by the time I was watching this. No, you were not. So, okay, so we had some of our um, refit fans, refit community people uh, submit some questions about love. Not that many, which means that we know all that we need to know about loving others. All right, Eddie Caldwell said, question is, do you think real, true love is a choice or a feeling? Mm, I, we kind of already answered this. Uh -huh. I think it's both. Yes. For I sure. think it starts with a feeling and it ends with multiple choices. What multiple a choosing. Yeah. This is from Jamie Gregory 827. Her question is a very valid question. Okay. The people want to know what carbs do you love? Mm. All the oh carbs. Too many of them. Every so carb easy. available. Potato, pasta, bread, rice. Potato, pasta. <laughs> Pastas. <laughs> Um, well, I, don't, I, I don't know if candy is a carb, but I like candy so a lot. It's just mm -hmm. pure sugar. Yeah, yeah. it's a sugar. Like pretty sugar. Cool. Um, Emery Gerberding. Amari. I bet that's Amari. Amari? Uh-huh. Okay. Amari or Emery Gerberding wants to know, how do you keep love alive after kids, specifically with young kids? Mm. You don't, Emery. <laughs> <laughs> you remember what got you the kids in the first yeah. place, and you say, No. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, no. <laughs> Wait, Look what you did to me. <laughs> I can't love answer this question because I have not birthed children out of these hips. <laughs> I imagine this is just like any other relationship in your life, which would require things such as quality, time, or intentionality. Sure. Like whether that is and everybody knows that. But I know. Night. Date night. No, yeah. no, no, but I'm not I'm even. So I'm not okay. no, date night. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. Tony Robbins has said, do this th if you want to keep your relationship active, fiery, exciting. Do the things that you used to do at the beginning. Mm -hmm. When you have children who are sucking on your teats and needing their diapers changed and their booties white. And, and I'm going for a hike. <laughs> right. no. And you're cleaning the house and cooking meals and no. Okay. Don't don't put that on me. Don't put that pressure All right, on me. Right, Emory, Amari, I'm sorry. Imagine yourself as though you are in an army. You are a military group and you and your husband or significant others, you are the captains of your infantry. And your goal is just to get to the next day. That's it. And if you get to the next day and you want to high five or lean over and give each other a kiss, great. But that is all you can expect from that person in that moment. Just keep going until they're about 10. Then we can talk about date night and all the things. This is love Dave, languages. Davian Johnson wants to know, what's your favorite ways to be shown love and appreciation? Do something without me having to ask you to do it. Read her mind. Just get in her brain and figure it out on your own and enjoy that process. And then hope that she didn't actually want to do it herself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or that you're wrong, because if you're wrong, you're dead. Um, I mean, I think y'all know. Like, I like for, I will feel the most loved if we've been able to sit like on a couch, talk. I feel yeah. my love tank is full right now. And if we could end with a group hug, then I'm like, I'm out on the group hug. No, I'm kidding. Especially so again, like, with physical in my touch, marriage, like it was a lot up. of long distance, and and now again is a lot of long distance. And so like time on the phone or just like keeping mm -hmm. in contact. We don't have to be saying like, "Love you, yeah. honey." Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be that yeah. words of affirmation or like constant reminder that love exists. But mm -hmm. um, and you all moved well past the snot rocket phase. <laughs> <laughs> that was a different boyfriend. Sure. Side note, over touching. Do you feel like this is? I don't like it when I see people doing this. You don't like it when you see guys doing that to women. I no, don't. I don't, don't either. I'm like, get your hand off her neck. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. look, look, at look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at that. It's like a ventriloquist. <laughs> Talk. Yes. Yeah. Be a human. Uh -huh. Like, be considerate. Think about that someone else is maybe having a tough day or, yeah. you know, so I think that's my love language. Yeah, we've said like that I think, uh, was it like respect 
or something like that is like another form of showing love. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not really wrapped up in any of those five. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Well, speaking of respect, we have not, clearly not respected your time because yeah. the length of this video is quite long, but we hope we've answered some of your burning questions about love. And like we said before, if you have thoughts to share or more questions to ask, we hope that you'll leave them in, com- in, a, in, the, in a the comments below. Um, we can't wait to hear from you. And more importantly than that, we just want to say we are so thankful that each of you have committed to showing love for one another. We love our Refit community. We love this beautiful community that we've built together. So thank you for being a part of it. Cheers. Oh. <laughs>